G'day guys, Greg here. Well, today I thought I'd cook some Chinese food with a little bit of help from my friend here, Curtis. So I'm gonna use some of Curtis's Chinese recipe pork mince today and whip up the recipe that's on the back actually and we'll just see what it's like and see how easy it is to make. Anyway, let me show you what else is written on the back here. Well, what you're gonna need is some of this mince that he's got, old Curtis, mate. My nemesis. You'll also need some oyster sauce, some soy sauce. You'll need some wombok or bok choy or choy bao or just something. Something with choy written on it. A couple of carrots, a couple of spring onions and four cups of cooked rice. Now, I, I don't know how many cups that is, but it was one cup of raw rice or uncooked rice. So it looks like it's made about four cups. Anyway. I gotta start chopping some stuff up. Well, for starters, some spring onions. Uh, half of it just went on the floor, but I need to get uh, like lots of bits of white stuff. Like save all the white stuff uh, because uh, that'll come in nice and handy. And we'll keep it separate to like the green stuff. But we'll just chop it into like, you know, small pieces. As you can see, I'm an absolute professional at it. You can tell by my knife skills and that I've still got all my fingers. But I'll keep the white bits together. We'll get rid of that out of the way. And now I've got to bug here on my... Got you! That's how you know this stuff is fresh. Whatever this is. Wombok, bok choy or choy bao or some, something with the word choy in it. Now this needs to be finely sliced too. Now, now I'm not an old pro at using this stuff, but it, I think it cooks pretty fast, so well, I'll just pretend I know how to cut this. Is that finely sliced enough, you reckon? Oh, I hope so, because I'm gonna look like a goose otherwise. How about I put some of this stuff on a plate, make some room. I'll, I'll keep the, the shallots, spring onions, uh, uh, whatever you call these, sort of separate. And then I've got the bok choy, choy bin, bin lard and whatever that stuff is. I'll keep this like over here. And now, for some reason, it's asked me to like use carrots. Now, carrots are such a pain in the neck, aren't they? Can you buy them frozen, already cut up? I'm pretty sure you can. But that'd be really loud. It'd turn out like rubbish, to be quite honest, because that frozen carrots are already hit like half cooked. Get rid of that mess. You can go with it. Chop those ends off. And then uh, we got to cut these into, well, the destructions say, peeled and finely chopped. What's finely chopped even mean? I mean, does it into like those tiny little sections or? Well, it depends how big your hand is, isn't it? If you've got a massive hand, finely chopped might be, mean this. But if you've got tiny little hands, finely chopped might mean like something completely different. So I've got no idea, mate. I'm just going to start chopping it up. Four one way, one the other, and well, these take a while to cook, so I'll just chop them as thin as I can. Uh, I'm not professional, as you can see. I've only been doing these YouTube videos for 10 years, and I still haven't learnt. But at least I'm making an effort and giving it a go. And I saw it on my fingers, so that's something to be really proud of. All right, well that's the preparation done. It's time to start cooking. Okay, so you're gonna need a nice big deep frying pan saucepan thing for this. So make sure you put it on, turn it on, get it nice and hot. Hopefully it's heated up by an, oh, oh yeah, that's heated up. So we need to add some vegetable oil in there. Wonderful. 
Now grab Curtis's meat in your hands. I know, right? Oh, I bet heaps of us wish that it was real. Well, it can be now. And we need to cook this up. Oh, Curtis reckons you need to break it up into two centimeter chunks. But it seems to be falling apart nicely on its own. It doesn't look like that in the um, picture. It, doesn't look, it looks like it's not going anywhere, but wow, it really breaks up nice and easily. I'm quite amazed by that. Anyway, I'm just going to cook this until it's cooked. Curtis reckons four minutes, but I reckon I'm going to give it about 25! Or maybe five. And now once that meat's cooked, you want to add two tablespoons worth of oyster sauce. That was probably three, but anyway. And just by the way, uh, this mince, um, his special mince, it smells like it's just got some Chinese five spice in it. And that's about it. So if you just wanted to add Chinese five spice to some pork mince, I reckon that'd pretty much do the same thing as old Curtis's, just between you and me. But he wants us to cook this for about a minute until that oyster sauce has nicely glazed all over his meat. Oh, yeah. And once we've done that, we need to transfer this into a bowl. Put this straight back on the heat. And now we add in the carrots. And the white parts of your spring onions. See, there's a reason why I kept them separate. That's because Curtis told me to. We all love Curtis, don't we? He also wanted me to add some oil, which I totally didn't see. Even though I'm wearing glasses. But hey, we're not, we're not all perfect. Well, maybe you're not, but <laughs> I'm pretty close to it. And we just need to stir fry this for 30 seconds. But I tell you what, carrots always take longer. Especially when your carrots are as thick as your finger. That's never going to make things easier. So I might give it a good minute, I reckon. Make sure this pan's nice and hot too because it'll make a life a whole lot easier. Now I've got my four cups of rice cooked and it's cold. We're going to add that in. And basically you just need to heat this through. He reckons it'll take about a minute. It could be right. But I reckon it could take even longer. We add one tablespoon of soy sauce. Ah. Into the pan, hopefully, and not all over your kitchen bench. Make sure that's all coated. Now we add the mince back in. Along with your wombok bok choy took by our chicken feed stuff. And I've got the uh, leftover spring onion things here too. I've, I don't know mate, I'll, I'll add some of them in and well, uh, might say some for garnish or something. And basically, just need to stir this through. He reckons for about one minute. Again, just use your own judgment. I mean, I'm not too sure how good Curtis is at, at cooking. I mean, he's only got his own show and, well, his own food line and everything. But hey, we don't know. Have you ever been, have you, have you, has he ever cooked for you? No. So we don't know. Anyway. That's Curtis's recipe done. And I've got to say, that was really easy to do. So, well, how about we serve some up and I'll give you the old taste test. I mean, that hardly took any time at all to do, really. 
I'm, I'm actually quite amazed at how fast that was. Anyway, whack some of Curtis's meat and veg into a bowl. He did say to garnish it with some of your leftover spring onions. All right then, Curtis. Well, here's your Chinese pork I just whipped up. Can't wait to give it a go. It smells pretty good. Make sure I grab some of his meat so I can stick that in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Come at me. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, wow. Mmm. Gee. Wait. <laughs> That tastes really good. It tastes like something that I would get in a restaurant. Mm, I don't know what what he's put in his meat, but I tell you what, his meat is fantastic. It'll make you know, your eyes roll and back into your head. It's um really tasty. It's got that Chinese five spice taste. The saltiness was enough. The taste of it's really good, and man, that's a really good feed. And there you go, old Curtis is mate. Mate, he's, um, he's come through with the goods on the Chinese one. I know he's got quite a few things there, so I might even have to try some of his other ones now. I think I could be a convert. Thank you, Curtis. Thank you for guest starring with me today. And, well, thanks for sharing with us your recipe for Chinese whatever this is. And I tell you what, it really is tasty. So, mate, if you see it in the shops, Man, I'd give it a go. Sometimes you can pick it up on special because no one wants it. I don't know why they don't want it because it tastes really good. So sometimes it's on special, really good prices. So if you see it, mate, take it home, whack it in the freezer and when you want to cook some, whip it out and wow, serve it up. Anyway, that's all today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time I cook something. See you then. Oh yeah, this is great.